Today, the 12th of January is marked as the National Youth Day in India to commemorate the birth anniversary of the famous sing thinker and saint of India, Swami Vivekananda, who kept on screaming, kept on telling the youth, reminding youth, awake, arise, stop not till the goal is reached. That has bombarded the left and right of the country. And the youth started thinking that they have to wake up. The wake up call was very beautiful. What the youth today meant was to make the youngsters think that they have to take the country forward for another thousand years. How they are going to stabilize what went wrong with the past, what went wrong with the present and from the present seniors whether they learn a lesson, whenever there is a problem, don't stick onto the problem and worry about the problem. Instead, learn a lesson from the problem and take it forward. You will always see the light, not the light at the end of the tunnel, but the real deeper is all around blooming. The present youth or the past youth, whichever were the youth, youth is full of energy and in the energy, one thing in them is the like and the love. Every girl likes the boys and love the boys and every boy likes the girls and love the girls. These are the two very, very important. That means they can go to any extreme. They can become suicidal also on that point. They do not think that the body should exist. They can blast the body, to burst the body, to break the body into pieces, to find a path, to hit the target of what we are in love. And the love is stabilized through the family. And they keep on telling, if you like it, you will pluck it. And no girl, no boy likes to pluck it. Hence, from the like, the email jump to love. If you love it, you will water it. You will see its growth. Not to grab it. Not to break it into pieces. But watch it grow. And as you start watering, you start seeing it is growing. And as it grows, you and that watering becomes one. Then you, the world do not have to tell that you are in love. You love them. You both become one to flower, to give seeds, to bloom. The youth of today is very, very important because due to the industrial revolution, families were getting disconnected. And the struggle went thinking the families in the deep down in the villages will benefit and they will live happily, at least in the old age. But the people who have gone, people who have gone to the cities never, never came back. Like in the St Stalin era, they say men were picked up in the late night and they never, never came back. They never came back like the Hitler's era. So this uh, industrial revolution, the men never came back. The families never came back. So villages were shut down. Now due to the forced education, bookish education, the cells in the brain starts working and nobody in the world can tell you are a slave, whether you are a bookish slave or whatever it is, whatever it is, this, the cells started working and now you started understanding. This is the time I wanted to tell you to knit your family, you have to take care of your family. You go back to your family and not to pluck, not to ask a share of your father and mother. If you ask a share of your father and mother, you are plucking. If you like it, you will pluck it. If you love it, you will water. You are the lovers of my land. You are the lovers of our beautiful country. And lovers means for us, you are the God. And the God doesn't pluck, God waters. Through sunlight, through rain, through wind, it keeps on giving. It doesn't accept anything back in return. It's a beautiful karma yogi of the nature. So you go back to your family. You sit with your dad and mom. Whatever work you do outside, not immaterial, never mind. 
But every day without a break, you make a call to your family. When you reach your house, you rush up to your dad or mom, you sit with the granny and grandmother, bump to bump with your brother and sister. There's no fight. Even if there is, they, they say they have a different opinion, accept that opinion that they were, they were at least expressed. Yes, they expressed this. One person told me, children were making noise and teachers were telling, keep quiet, keep quiet. And the person said, no, 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 allow the children to express. They are trying to express language. It may be a little noisy, but if you really feel it is a beautiful song, you will enjoy. From that day, I realized, yes, if my, whenever I come, my seniors tell the small children, keep quiet, Guruji is coming. I said, no, no, I loud here, and I let them make noise. But then slowly, slowly, we can make it beautiful. So opinions may be different. Enjoy the opinion. Don't get stagnated to this or that. Then you will divide the house. Just go back to house. When the house is strengthened, you, you, you yourself find that your love is blooming, that you are not liking to pluck anything. You're not liking when to pluck the question or the answer. You're just watering the question and answer happens of its own. Or you are keep watering the answers and questions happens of its own. And when questions happens of its own, people ask you questions. You are not worried because you know you have watered the plant so beautifully. You don't have even have to look in the question, looking at the at you, the question understands everything. Such is the beauty. From there, you find health. You become very strong. You work very hard. Girl or boy? Girl or boy? Yoka, yoka and karate, martial arts. You, your, your, the total, total body will be like a skeletal muscle. One of the best flex, flexible body. Our, our country, youth, went out like Swami Vivekananda and other people who went out of the country. And they taught the whole world exercises to make the body strong through Raja Yoga, through Karma Yoga, and then through the singing, the beautiful bhajan, so Bhakti Yoga, and all the jana, all the intelligence were taught to the world. Now you have to knit it back. So you make your body very, very strong. Early birds catches the best prey. So get up early morning and welcome the beautiful sun. Open up your body in two exercises. Then you can understand the body is, the, the battery is beautifully charged. You can take it forward. From there, you can find the joint families automatically connected. The family is still priest and tall. When you have these three Trimurtis, the family, joint family, the family tree, strong you go any part of the world you don't fear because you know one call you make your family is ready your pyramid is ready to help you then you go to the materialistic world work in the factories you go to the universities to study you go to the factories companies you work there but every time you work you make sure that this is strengthened when you know when this is strengthened that in and the yang your factory the company the political arena wherever you are you connect back to your family. Yin and yang, positive and negative creates electricity. That's the time you have the first feeling, feel, smell, taste, touch, and see. The first time you felt, I am a human being. Every time when I touch, when I get up, ah, it only light. I do not even have to switch on the light. I do not have to go after the solar lights. The materialistic world where you work and when you every day without a break, you connect to your family, to joint family, family tree. You are in deep love with your husband and your wife. You melt with them. You take baths together, eat together, dance together, sing the bhajan together, take the children together for a bath, and scrub together, wash your clothes together, cook food together. You know, you are very healthy. A only a healthy body can use wise words from there you connect to the nature you automatically get connected when you have the family tree you get automatically connected to the nature then not a single drop of water will leave your land rainwater harvesting you do it a beautiful pond all the best medicinal plants all the best vegetables organic vegetables the fruits will be in your family tree you can keep this thing strengthening the family tree and then you have the solar, no houses will be used 
electric, will use the electricity from the electricity board. You will be using the solar. You are connected to nature. The strength is good. That is the strength of youth. Take it forward. Scream aloud. Yes, early morning. Early birds catch the best year. Do your exercises. Yoga, karate, music, dance. So when you go to your class, you listen. First time in your life, 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 you started listening to the music. When you start listening to your teacher, when you start listening to your mother and father and brother and sister, and grandfather and grandmother, and to the family, first time you understood, oh, it is a song. It is not that something they're trying to tell you to um, discipline you. It is not a discipline, indiscipline. You start enjoying the song. When the song penetrates deep inside your body, you find the energy level of your body. The magnetic force is getting built up. Then you go to the classrooms. You know you don't have to take any medicines. Whatever teachers teach us, it gets imprinted every cell of the brain. You know the teacher is God. It means from experience is coming. Others, when you go to the classrooms and you don't listen to your teachers, you suddenly become a slave. Then the youth, we call the youth what the future stabilizing factor for my country that the youth will start thinking for another hundred years, for thousand years, where the country will stand. That will be lost. You seem you are very happy, naturally. Thank you.